So today riding is Jessica Johnson. She's gonna go over the course and there's a couple things in this course that gives you the option. Um, you're gonna wanna do what's best for you and your horse. You know your horse. You know what's gonna work the best for your horse. So starting with jump one, you have two options. If I know my horse is gonna canter in and have a great canter, I can canter straight up to the first jump right off the bat through the gate. If I know I need time to get my horse in front of my leg to get to the jump and have a nice jump, then I'm gonna come in and canter a circle to get to jump one. Jumps two and three is the bending line, the birch to the oxer. It is not measured. So whatever step, you'll see what Jessica does there. You can stay out or you can ride up and stay in. With the bending line, if I have a horse that does not have the best lead change or a horse that's green that I know is gonna miss the lead change, it is okay to hold the lead through that bending line. If I have a horse that has an amazing lead change and it's good leaded, then I will probably do the lead change there. Your next option is when you come to jumps four and five. So it's a rollback. So you can jump, jump four, stay on the inside of the white oxer to roll back to jump five. Or same thing, going back to, does my horse have a great lead change? Is my horse gonna land the lead? If I know my horse won't land the lead and I know I have a problem with that lead change or I need to set up, you could go around the white oxer. And then when you come around, you're gonna catch the white oxer. And then your last jump is this oxer here. The way it's set in this arena right now, you have two options there as well. You can jump that jump and stay to the inside of this jump, or you can jump the jump and stay to the outside. Same thing, if I'm gonna land the lead, my horse can come to the inside, that's fine, and I can do my circle at the end. If I need time to balance my horse, get the lead change at the end, I would probably come to the outside. So Jessica's gonna ride the first way with the circles and going around for the rollback. So that was the conservative way. As you saw in the rollback, she took her time, got the lead change, and then after the last jump, she came through this hole to hold him out and get the change there. And then now she's going to do it the other way. So that was the perfect ride, straight in the gate. All she wanted was to get her horse in front of the leg and she rode up to that jump and it was perfect.
And then that time in the bending line, she did nine. The time before, she was a little more conservative and did the 10. So that was the other way you can ride this course. And I would just do, like I said, whatever is going to be best for my horse, whatever I know is going to work the best for my horse. Um, just because one person does it the other way doesn't necessarily mean that's the way. It's going to be how you show your horse the best and have the most effective ride. Any questions? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes. So same thing. If you land the lead, get the change, yes, you can. Do you want to see Jessica do that? Would you like to see that done? <laughs> yes. Up to the white oxer. <laughs> so yes, it works a little tight, but it works. One thing to consider though is they will move the fences out of this ring into the other ring. So placement might be a little bit different, um, especially with the last jump, it just might be at a little bit better angle. Any other questions? Any other questions? No? Thank you.